Well, can you all hear me? I think you can. This is your February Q&A. For questions, insults, comments, or whatever on my YouTube channel. I'd like to thank the 139 subscribers to making this possible. <laughs> now, if you'll notice, we're in a different location. Got a little PlayStation going on for all you gamers. And I'll put that down right here. So this Q&A, and uh, wow, my shirt. This Q&A is brought to you by, by me. Now, um, besides uh, YouTube making generally an ass of itself, there, uh, there's a lot of complaints from uh, YouTube about my content. And um, they, of course, naturally, they threaten to take me down. They've, uh, they want to suspend me. You know, they want to do all the fun stuff. And uh, I told them I really didn't care. So, we are going to go on with it. This first one at number one. We got four. At number one, this came from Force FX 12. Force FX 12. And he writes to me on a private email or a private messenger on YouTube. At number one, he says, Seen your videos. Why don't you fix your nasty teeth? Why don't you fix your nasty teeth? Okay. Well, <laughs> fixing my nasty teeth. Well, I'm still trying to get the VA to pay for them because I did lose my upper partials and they got fractured and cracked and everything from getting uh, banged up in a, uh, a military vehicle uh, incident. And I've been struggling with these guys back and forth for the longest time. I actually had to pay money to uh, attempt to get them fixed. And, uh, well, sorry, my nasty teeth, they had to pull them. And I had to get the upper ones pulled because of uh, we had an upcoming deployment. I had to rate a second class or a first class of my teeth. So I had to get them pulled, and the Army refused to pay for them. I even had partials made, too. But unfortunately, the partials... Are broken so I've been seeing that the VA can repair them or not um, it's very very expensive five to six grand for those things so until I get a yes or a, per a permanent yes or no by the VA I cannot fix my nasty teeth because I don't want to spend five or six grand on them and that answers your question mr. force FX so who are these frigging guys and number two at number two, this comes from Le France Spalding. And so that's how I'm Le France Spalding. This is right here on this printout. Okay. Le France Spalding. Le France Spalding. Okay. Anyway, at number two, he says, funny shit your videos with other people. What's with all the drawing and women figures? Are you a pervert? What's with all the drawings and women figures? Are you a pervert? Well. <laughs> okay. Well, what would I? What would you rather have me have? A bunch of male figures on the walls and on the shelves. I collect uh, figures, female and male figures. I even got R. Lee Ermey up on my uh, collection wall. I even got Dead from Mayhem on a action figure on the wall. It's still in the boxes. Uh, 
I got female figures. Yeah, I got female figures from rare animation shows or cartoons. You know, even the even my martial art trophies got men on them. You know? I mean, uh, I don't know. I mean, you tell me. Dude, I even got Malcolm McDowell. I even got Clockwork Orange up on the wall here. Clockwork Orange. Okay? So, are you saying that I'm a perv? Well, what do you have on your wall? Do you got women on your wall or you got men? Do you got Hulk Hogan posters with him buffed out wearing Speedos? Well, that answers your damn question. Are you a perv? Of course not. You don't see any S&M in here. I don't talk about perversions. So, uh, that's your answer. I'm a collectible. I collect, I collect stuff. Action figures, guitars, amplifiers, you know, posters, autographs. You tell me. So, to answer your question is, personally, I don't think I'm a perv. You think I'm a perv? That's up to you, man. So, that's a fucking hua. Okay, going on to number three with this damn thing. Number three. This comes from X, 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 82nd Airborne. Okay? This comes from X, X, X. 82nd Airborne. And he writes, at number three, Hey man, ex-paratrooper here, like your content. What's up with the stolen valor Stolen valor in your area, is what he wrote. That's what it says here. Well, uh, hey there, paratrooper. Uh, this is uh, a dirty leg coming back at you with this, uh, this um, answer. It seems like we have a lot of stolen valor in my area. I live in a very, very small town, and we have um, American Legion Hall just right up the street. We got um, we got a Veterans Square between two uh, main crossroads, and if you go farther north, south, east, if you go farther west, we got two BFW uh, uh, um, posts. And uh, yeah, I don't know for some reason it's now it's cool. To be, uh, well, I wouldn't say now. I mean, now with, uh, with the political thing with Biden and all that stuff, who, you know, I don't know what's going on with that. I mean, he did, he did call all of us ex-military uh, and ex-cops, all the white guys, Ku Klux Klan members. But um, the stolen valor thing, apparently it became cool for everybody to want to be a veteran. Everybody wants to be a veteran. So, um, you know, because of all the video games that came out, The Punisher, okay, half of those guys in that show are veterans, you know, Marines or Army or whatever. So now it became cool to be a veteran, even if you're not a veteran. So they make up all these stories. Or if they were veterans, they didn't do anything with their careers, and they just blow up stories on how badass they are. So in my area, yes. I mean, I run into a lot of that stuff, believe it or not. And um, I hear a lot of stories when, I'm, when I used to sit in restaurants before uh, the pandemic came down. I used to sit and listen, you know, to booth away or two booths away. Some guys making up crazy shit, you know, getting their timelines messed up uh, for military events. You know, like uh, what, what, what went down in Mogadishu, Desert Storm. Possible or something. So, yeah, we have a lot of stolen valor that happens in our area, um, at least from when I hear it. I mean, if I was to put an actual number on it, um, I would probably, I would probably hear, run into maybe 10 questionable veteran kind of stolen valors, at least in my area, from various resources. Uh, if you go to the VA, our VA that's out in Sepulveda here, out here in uh, by in Van Nuys, um, you hear all sorts of crazy war stories there too. I mean, assassins, CIA operatives, um, you know, just crazy stuff. So yeah, it's uh, to answer your question, it does happen a lot here. At, le at least, at least in, within my earshot of me. I, I hear stuff like that. So that is pretty much your uh, your uh, answer. 
All right, we're going to go to number four. Number four. This one is from, at number four, Joker, Riddler, Batman, 007. Joker, Riddler, Batman, 007. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right. Um... Well, this, uh, well, this, uh, this villain, villain, good guy, villain, villain, good guy. Yeah, anyway, at number four, he says, 600 videos, dude, and you only got a few thousand plays. You would get more if you made better videos. Well, oh, P.S., Show a big rack. Well, it seems like the boobs and the butt thing came back, I think, for a moment. Well, these videos are just, they're off-the-cuff videos. It's stuff that it's done spontaneously via phone or originally I used to have a camera. Um, a lot of, I mean, I've been on YouTube since 2008. So ever since I came back from my last deployment. Um, and I started a, started an account and started making videos. Basically, it's just a matter of opinions or some kind of event. And I would just do four or five minute, six minute video and put it up and see if anybody really gives a rat's ass or not. So, uh, do I, I mean, do I want to spend money on big, big productions? I really don't. To be honest, quite honest with you, I really don't. I don't want to spend big money on productions. Yeah, that's the Mornblade banner you see in the background. That was supposed to go uh, over our drum riser during my Mornblade days. So um, the videos, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm an outlaw video guy. It, it doesn't matter. I mean, you've if you spent time to look through all my videos... Um, I've done some of car shows, uh, video games, political stuff, military stuff, or just whatever. It's just the way it is. Um, and yeah, I only get a few thousand plays. You know, my, one of my biggest videos was taken down. It had over 30,000 plays. And all the rest of them, you know, a couple hundred here, maybe 50 there. It, it doesn't matter to me because I'm not making money, so... It's just outlaw videos and 139 people plus bots uh, don't seem to mind. So that goes to your answer and uh, that is at number four. And as for big boobs or butts or whatever, let's see if we can get a close-up of Lita here from uh, ElfQuest. There you go. Well, that's not really a big rack, but okay. Anyway, yes, I do collect ElfQuest stuff too. I was a big fan of ElfQuest. So, there goes your uh, a big rack. I mean, uh, Blita doesn't have a big rack. Anyway, that goes for your answer. And that is your four Q&A questions, answers, insults, or comments. Um, finally, I'm beginning to get more uh, feedback and more questions and more question marks and why I'm doing stuff. So, if it continues, I might kick it up to five questions or just answer all of them. For maybe the next Q&A. So, anyway, uh, this is me. I got a blood test to do at the end of this week. So, this is me, Jeff DeFaro. Recovered from the COVID, but uh, messed up inside. And uh, this was your four Q&As for February 2021 and it's been a hell of a 2021 already so everybody stay safe out there wear your mask watch your social distancing don't take heroin don't take pct don't smoke too much joints well actually i can't tell you guys how to do your drugs or whatever but hey if you do that shit hey more power to you this is jeff the pharaoh saying hua for february 2021